Hello everyone! Today I'm here to give you a recommendations video. So I think I've been getting some requests to share with you my adult fiction recommendations because I've been reading a little bit more, not a ton, but a little bit more this year. So I thought I would make a video and share with you some of my recommendations. So Oh, I just want to I just want to throw a quick disclaimer out there that I'm not like I don't read 100% adult fiction I read a lot of YA the majority of what I read is YA but I do like to read adult fiction as much as I can They're just some of my favorite adult fiction so I just want to throw it out there that I am not a expert at adult fiction I'm very new into the genre I'm just testing the waters out really I just know what I like what I don't like so I just want to share with you some recommendations that I really enjoy so I just want to throw that out there that I'm not an expert these books maybe like you these books I'm gonna recommend you may hate you may love just throwing it out there. So what I'm actually gonna do is I have different genres I want to share with you. I have some favorite authors I want to share with you. So the first things I'm gonna show you are some favorite authors of mine that write adult fiction and my favorite books by them. Then I'm gonna go into genres like you know sci-fi and mystery and stuff like that. I just want to show you two or three books that I recommend in each genre and anyway long as intro ever let's begin. So the first author I want to talk about is Jojo Moyes. I first read Jojo Moyes last year and the first book I read obviously was Me Before You. You probably as soon as you hear Jojo Moyes you think me before you because it is her most popular book and it is my favorite book of hers that is for sure I'd say it's probably one of her saddest books yet I've only read four of her books so I know she's got a lot more published than that I'm working my way through her um, books but I really love this one I highly recommend it and the other two from Jojo Moyes that I've read that I really loved am also going to be the last letter from your lover this is an amazing book it's got two different timelines going on in it and it is definitely a heart-wrenching serious book for sure I love it I'm not going to go in super into detail which each one of these books is about because it's a lot but like I so this is a very heart-wrenching sad one that will definitely engulf you and you will have to finish it as soon as you start it. Lightest, you know, the most light-hearted book of Jenna Moist books that I've read is definitely One Plus One by her and it's definitely, you know, it's a family drama I would say but it's more light-hearted. Um, it's definitely got some feel-good vibes in it but yeah. So just think, you know, if you read me before you and you're like, I can't read any more Jojo Moyes because they're all heart-wrenching. This one's definitely not that heart-wrenching at all. The next author I want to talk about should also come as no surprise because I've been reading a ton of her books this year. And that is definitely going to be Leah Moriarty. And this is like the only book I really own by her, shockingly. <laughs> It's not the top three I'd recommend. The first book I want to recommend if you want to read Leah Moriarty is definitely The Husband's Secret. She definitely writes, you know, a mystery in it, but it's more about family dramas and characters and more about that. The Husband's Secret is probably her most popular one and it is the best in my opinion so far that I've read. I, th I think I only have two other books by her that I need to read that I love the husband secret. The one I want to recommend to you is What Alice Forgot. I actually do this but I'm lending it to a friend. This is a definitely light-hearted book. I would say it doesn't have a huge um, thing of mystery on it. That's what usually her th books are about but this one isn't. It's very kind of light-hearted and funny. I love it. It's my second favorite by hers. And my third favorite is Big Little Lies. It definitely does have a mystery thing to it and it also is being made into an HBO like series or a mini series so definitely check it out if you want. Definitely read it before that comes out because the the book was really good. And the one that just came out recently that I'm showing you is Truly Madly Guilty. It wasn't my favorite of hers by far, but I thought I'd show it to you because it's the only one I own right now that I could actually show you. And the last author that writes pretty much generally adult fiction is going to be Rainbow Roll. She's only written two adult books. If you've heard of Rainbow Roll, she also writes YA. She does both, which I love because you get a little bit of mixture in there. But the two adult ones that she's written, I have loved and devoured. And that's going to be Landline. This is a great one about a marriage. And it's got a little, little, little hint of time travel. Nothing like it. it's still pretty contemporary, but it's still a really awesome book. And her other one is Attachment. It's a very lighthearted, fun read. It definitely is a very just cute read, I would say, honestly. It's so cute. I love Rainbow Ross books. I've loved everything she's ever written, YA and adult, so I'd highly recommend her. Uh, moving on to genres. The first genre I'm talking about is Chiclet, and I really only have one author for this, or I have a couple, I guess I would say, but the one author when I think of Chiclet is definitely got to be Sophie Kinsella. I love Sophie Kinsella. This is my favorite book by hers. I've got your number. I recommend if you're interested in her to Definitely pick up I've Got Your Number, a very funny, witty, and just hilarious book. The other books I like by her are 20s Girl, which is again another funny, hilarious book, and her Confessions of a Shopaholic series. I've only read the first three, but they're all so funny, but I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it because there's so many and, you know, I don't know, I feel like it's like kind of like the repetitive thing, different, you know, new venture kind of same formula. I don't know. It sounds bad, but I still do love Sophie Kinsella, but those are three I would definitely recommend for Chiclet, like, Love Sophie Kinsella. Okay, so those are my author books, like the ones that 
the authors I really think of that I have multiple books to think of. So the rest of the books I show you are going to be like single books. If that makes sense what I'm trying to say. Like I don't have multiple books by a particular author anymore. It's pretty much one book. And continuing on with the chiclet thing, one I actually just read not too long ago is The Single Scan by Lauren Weisenberger. I love this book. It was great. It's about tennis. It definitely a chiclet vibe for sure. So I've heard she's written other various chiclet type of books. So I'd highly recommend her. But this is the only one I can recommend to you because it's the only one I've read by her. But I still really enjoyed it. Moving off of the chiclet back into the general like women's fiction I guess or like general fiction. I don't know how to categorize these things. It's hard okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> books that I just really love is Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Simple. This is really told in all emails and stuff. Very hilarious fun book. I definitely recommend it if you like Gilmore Girls. It's definitely got that witty vibe like more of a sharper tone. It's not like lighthearted like Gilmore Girls. It's got a little bit of a depth to it kind of like I don't know but it's really really good. <laughs> And the other one I recommend is an older one but I still will always think of this book when I think of adult fiction and that's going to be The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I read this when I was like 14. I don't know why. I just did and I'm happy I did because I love it. It's still one of my favorite books ever and I have such an emotional tie to it. So I love this one. This definitely is you know a diff a drama. It's about a girl that gets um, killed and it's all about her perspective from um, when she's in heaven or like in the in-between and she's watching her family go through all this trying to figure out how to move on with life without her and, you know find out her killer and it's just a very very sad type of book but it's very good. I still have yet to watch the movie. I, I don't know why. Moving on to sci-fi, I have a couple books I want to recommend you. The first one is going to be The Martian by Andy Weir. I read this again last year and it was just amazing. You know, it does have a lot of scientific jargon in it. Don't be fooled by that. It was still such an amazing book. Read this book alone for the main character perspective, Mark Watney. He is witty. He is sarcastic. He is hilarious. And I have seen the movie and I think the movie is great as a book to me adaptation. So I give a big thumbs up to both, but I will obviously always pick the book because it was just hilarious. Mark Watney really made this book. The other sci-fi book I want to recommend to you, I actually lent out and it's, it's, it's gone. You ever have that when you lend books out to people and you never see them again yeah it's 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 sad but the one I want to recommend to you is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I read this a few years ago and I love it I will always love it it's such an awesome sci-fi book it's about like this virtual reality and these people playing and if you love the 80s read this book this book is chock full of 80s pop culture references and it is just so so good. I highly recommend especially if we're gonna get if you like Stranger Things. I know that's kind of horror and stuff like that but that definitely has the 80s feel. Ready Player One will also give you the same 80s feel so just know that it is an amazing hilarious awesome book. I, I can't talk about it enough guys. I, I love that book and it's been a few years since I've read it and I still have very fond memories of it. Moving on to mystery slash thriller. I have branched out a little bit and read a couple this year. Not a ton but a few because I'm a big scaredy pants but the two that I really loved. Everyone's going to be The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. That is my favorite thriller I've read so far. It was scary but not enough, not too scary that would make me like not sleep at night. But it was such a great thriller. This will actually be a movie coming out this this fall I want to say so definitely read it before you watch the movie because but judging by the trailers I'm not too sure how it's gonna do <laughs> so trust me I think the book will definitely be better in this case and it was a really awesome mystery slash thriller I that's my favorite girl like I said I've read so far and the other one I want to recommend I actually just read last month and that is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware this is all about a killing that has happened on a very very small cruise ship like a yacht size type of boat so we got a cast of characters we have to pick who's the killer and it was really good a lot of people will say that this book really reminds them of like Agatha Christie's work so if you like her definitely check this one out I like this one one. I didn't like love it love it but it was still a really good thriller. The last genre I want to talk about is fantasy and I've really only read one adult fantasy and the one that I read I just I'm obsessed with and that is Vicious by V. Schwab. So so good. This is a heroes versus villains, good versus bad. Just an amazing awesome book. I highly recommend it. It is just a stunning a stunning book. Stunning writing and everything so definitely please read this one because I'm 
I'm borderline obsessed with it. I'm just obsessed with it. Let's just say that. Anyway, that was my adult fiction recommendations. I hope you guys liked this video and, you know, it wasn't too boring or I gave you enough variety, you know. As I said, I'm really new into this adult fiction genre thing. I feel like, you know, as I get older, I kind of want to explore adult fiction more because I do like it a lot. If you guys have any adult fiction recommendations, please leave them down below. I need more. I need to write them up. I need to fill a notebook up and just check them off. So please let me know your favorite adult fiction book. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. That would mean so much to me. And yeah, I really hope you like this video. I was very nervous filming it because I don't know much about adult fiction and I apologize for that, but I hope to get a lot better. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, I can't wait for mid-December.